All right, we're live from the Illinois State Fair. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk, and we are just across the way from the North American Midway. When uh, Megan and I were out here on the uh, weekend on Saturday, the weather was gorgeous. That place was a poppin'. Uh, we even stopped by the Reich Pavilion where we're broadcasting outside of right now, and it was busy with live music and delicious beers are flowing. And all the food around, it's just been an absolutely incredible weekend. A little bit of overcast skies today, but I don't think you can complain with as busy as it was over the weekend here. Uh, and to join us now to talk a bit about that, not necessarily with official numbers yet, but Rebecca Clark, she's the Illinois State Fair manager. Uh, she joins us here with Springfield's Morning News. Rebecca, thank you for taking time. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm, I'm just blown away by how busy this place was on Saturday. Uh, I understand you don't have like official numbers yet. We may not get those until after the fair, but what kind of assessment can you give us as to the 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 busyness of the fairgrounds over the weekend. Sure. So the I think the the best way to to Jake to gauge that is really from our vendors. You know, our vendors are, are from all the vendors that I've spoken to are very happy. Um, good weekends. They had good long lines. Um, you know, it's it's a good and a bad pro a good and a bad problem to run out of food. Right. <laughs> to have to go back and get more supplies. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and I tell you, uh, it was just it was great to see smiling faces, people Absolutely. walking around with corn dogs and funnel cakes and all kinds of uh, drinks being had. And uh, the, the North American Midway was was just it was fascinating to see all the rides operating all at once. Just all the kids having a good time. Uh, have we seen a fair like this? I mean, this is this has been really over the top and, and busy, busy, busy. Well, I, it, it's it's really great to see that return to normal, right? It, it, that's really what we've been talking about since we started planning was this is the first fair that we may start to feel normal again. It's been a long two years, and you can't ignore the things that are happening outside the gate. People are experiencing higher gas prices, higher inflation, and stuff like that. And so to be able to come out here and have family fun, affordable family fun in your own backyard. This might be the only vacation that some people get to yeah. take. And so I think that it's really, it's been a really great experience so far. And I'm, I'm sorry, you mentioned that it's cloudy, but you have an absolutely perfect spot. I mean, you're looking <laughs> out at the carnival. I bet when I this know. is lit up at oh, night, yeah. it is absolutely picturesque. Yeah. And, and I'm looking forward to, I think tomorrow we've got a chance of some rain, but uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, we'll be broadcasting out here. And I'm looking forward to not as much over cast and having the sun come out and splash over the the carnival midway here and we'll be showing people of course with the uh, uh the camera we've got uh, uh showing the carnival midway so uh be sure to follow us on facebook and you can follow along live uh we're talking with rebecca clark she is the illinois state fair manager here for the 2022 illinois state fair the theme grow with us and it seems that the fair is absolutely growing uh rebecca what are some of your favorite things to do at the fairgrounds now that you've like been in the manager role uh you kind of get a behind the scenes perspective of what's what's really hot, what's happening, uh, but maybe what some of the, the best kept secrets are of the fairgrounds. Gosh, so I think that the Illinois Department of Agriculture tent is a best kept secret. Um, the things that we offer in there, not just educational but family and family friendly, but some of the best Illinois produce, Illinois products. There's free sampling in there. I mean, this is, this is a, a really hidden gem. Um, but one of my favorite things is it's been talking to the vendors and seeing how happy they are um we had a lot of great livestock shows over the weekend and to see um our youth exhibitors really rooting for each other um has been amazing i love that feeling um to walk into the coliseum and see all full stands and and yeah. whatnot i mean it it's absolutely heartwarming i come from an agricultural background so that's that's really important and to see the crowds at the grandstand for everybody enjoying a concert. I think it's been really good. We're looking forward to a, a busy week. And of course, the weather uh, is cooperating. Uh, we're talking highs in the lower 80s, which is fantastic. Uh, and it's right here at the Illinois State Fair. Uh, I got to say one thing that uh, Megan and I did was we went out to Conservation World yeah. and we followed all the signs to uh, Kopi. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we had some we had some Kopi. There were free samples of like Kopi yeah. tacos and Kopi dip on chips. Uh, that's a nice little uh, uh, little secret. There's signs here and there, but uh, I would encourage people to go check that out. Um, Have you tried the dill pickle pizza yet? Uh, dill pickle pizza? No. Where's that at? Crossing the grandstand. Okay. 
Cross I'll go. I'll go Finn. check that out, uh, and uh, I'll have to get a couple more corn dogs, of course. There's uh, some really good shrimp tacos down the street um, over by Voses. I tell you, uh, the food here is is fantastic, and again, you know that uh, there's a, a lot of happy vendors when they've got long lines and people are uh, are buying up uh, practically everything they've got. Uh, I've heard, so I've heard good things about the kebabs at the Ribeye oh, Corral. Man, that sounds uh, good. You, the well, giant like the, turkey the, legs. The giant turkey uh, legs, I think, are bigger than normal. Yeah, that's a go-to. <laughs> uh, one thing we also did was we got just uh, sweet corn. You know, oh. Dipped in butter with some spices on it. Uh, that was let's, fantastic. It, let's let's be real. That's drenched in butter. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it so good. Yes, absolutely. Well, Rebecca, uh, let's talk again before the end of the week, uh, especially uh, here at the Illinois State Fair. Greatly appreciate taking the time. It's incredible to hear how happy the vendors are yeah. uh, and how abuzz the fairgrounds are. And uh, you're doing a fantastic job. And, and you it know, looks we're, wonderful. we're headed into half price admission weeks or days. So. There Great you go. time to come out and explore. Fantastic. That's Rebecca Clark. She is the manager of the Illinois State Fair here live from the Illinois State Fair. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk. And just to look at that forecast briefly, we're talking a high of 81 today. But later on throughout the week, highs in the lower 80s with sunshine Wednesday and Thursday. Right now, it's 8 o'clock. From the Fly SPI Studios. And we're clear. The easy way out. W